Hey guys, this is Helldozer from Zombieland Gaming, and I am back in Vermintide 2. Now, yesterday I did my Corellian video. Um, uh, Corellian. I'm sorry. I am doing Kruber today. Um, now, <clears throat> there are two things. Um, all of my guys uh, across the tune list are decked out and ready to go in the specs that I'm going to be using. Um, so there's going to be very little change. If I do change anything, it'll be weapons and I would have to play with the stats on some of the other weapons if I wanted to try them out. Um, as I said in the Corellian video, this is my disclaimer. This is what I found over Reddit, going over forums, Fat Shark, uh, some other stuff that I found online. I spent a decent amount of time, I think, going through and trying to find stuff. I read some of the arguments for and against some stuff, so you may not be... Uh, geared the same way, either due to you want to do something different or you don't have the gear. Uh, you might believe in different stats. Uh, just kind of whatever. So the reason I'm going to make these videos is that I want to try to help people out uh, that were like me, that were doing stuff wrong, that just to kind of give you a starting point. I'm not saying it's the be-all, end-all Bible, this is what you have to do, but based on some of the stuff that I have changed and I have found, my gameplay has definitely increased, um, my survivability has increased, uh, game smarts are kind of one of those things that are they're either you have it or you don't from learning, but overall, I can basically survive a lot better and have figured out a little tr few little tricks and trinkets of my own along the way. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so this is Merc. Alright, so, stay down, um, over battle scars and ready for action, uh, the more the merrier, over desperate defiance and shrug it off, uh, blade barrier, over reaper and strike together, uh, that's, like I said yesterday, is going to be above all the same across the boards, and this was a personal choice that I made. Um, Gabler was the, the pick that they sh said that you should take. I went with this, um, purely because it's going to help get somebody down. You don't have to worry about your stam shields running out, and it's easier to pick someone up. Is it optimal? Probably not, but I like it because, like I said, you don't have to waste time bending over, getting clipped, if you're like short one man, he's down, he's got somebody on him, boom, you just run over, hit your ultimate, boom, he's back up. Uh, that's just my feeling on it. Now, weapon-wise and gear-wise, <clears throat> um, crit power and attack speed, I got those numbers and was happy. I'm trying something different. Um, I'm trying out the Executioner Sword. There's been some arguments over Halberd and Executioner Sword. I personally am going to give this guy a try. I like the Halberd, but I want to be fair. I want to try it and see if it works. And w for that uh, particular weapon, go with Swift Slaying. Um, I went with the gun on this one. Um, Chaos Infantry, those are actually uh, ten, 10 and 10 is the best that you can get. Um, I went with Hunter. Uh, for the neck, again, it was high health. Block reduction could have been a little higher, but I got the 20 health, and that seemed to be the real pain in the butt to try to get. I went with Healer's Touch. And for this guy, the attack speed and the armored, you kind of have everything covered as far as, uh... You have Chaos Infantry there, you have Armored there. I'm going with kind of a wider spread of helping out, depending on what's coming at you. I'm kind of a more is more so got kind of guy, so I'm giving that a whirl. Um, and the Decanter. And then this, Curse Resistance, cooldown. Now this is another one that I have to switch out for the crit. Uh, that's, again, personal choice. That's what I'm doing with that guy. Um... I've taken this guy out. I've taken out all the tunes since the changes, and it's definitely going to be based on what you're doing. What kind of a party are you in? 
what kind of you know combat sense does everybody else have in the party? It's not a one-man show, unless, of course, you want to just go ahead and solo on Barton or something. Uh, but what I'm throwing out there is is to help you survive based off of what I've found and little tricks and trinkets you might pick up along the way. So, what we have here is the Huntsman. Now, yes, I'm sticking with Halbert on this guy. So, talents-wise, keep him coming. Um, I don't know. That's really not going to do too much for the weapon that I'm using with him. Grants an extra stamp shield. That's the backup one. If you wanted to switch, you can go to that one. Uh, make him bleed, obviously. Uh, the more crit, the merrier. Uh, Tal's Blessing. It's going to take a little bit more for you to... Um, line up a headshot, unless you're good with the little targeting thing. Um, this is actually the backup one. I'm kind of torn across these two, but if you can sink a, enough headshots, you're never really going to run out of ammo. So you kind of turn into a machine gun, kind of like the Carillion build that I did. Um, obviously that guy. Um, I went with that. I wanted to try that one out. Um, I tried that. It doesn't it wasn't as good as it looked for me um that is i believe the, actually the backup if you wanted to try that now gear wise crit chance and chaos power um i was one percent off of the chaos i wasn't going to argue with it and swift slaying uh the bow i hit straight across the boards now the reason i went with monster on that is because you're going to be Either with the halberd or with the bow, you're going to be the heavy hitter. Now, you restore. You went with, I went with scrounger. Scrounger with the talent makes you a machine gun. So, in essence, you could stand back or you could front line. Um, I went with health block reduction and healer's touch there. Crit attack speed, and I'm switching that out again because I didn't switch that out on all of my tunes. And there's him. Um, of all the guys, I think that this guy has, honestly, the best chance to be able to frontline without Sword and Shield. And from what I saw online, people were definitely saying Sword and Shield, you could play with this guy. Um, but I did, I'm not sure if I fixed up a Sword and Shield for him. No, I didn't. But if you're going to use anything, use a Sword and Shield. Uh, if you want to tank with this guy. Now... I've seen people tank, and I even tried tanking with this guy. Some people do, some people don't, but I've seen a lot of Huntsmen lately tanking. What with Hellbeard on this guy? Even though I have uh, Gold Gatherer. Now, my issue with Gold Gatherer is, and why that's not equipped, is because it has a problem with Armored. It just, it doesn't, like, unless you score a direct headshot or a charged shot, it just... Like, it doesn't do anything to them. So if you have a... If a pack gets pulled, uh, uh, or a patrol gets pulled by accident, you're going to have to stand back and wind up. You're going to have to use the range of the weapon. It's good for sweeping away just the skin rats. I'll give you that. It's very good for that. But a lot of what I, I read online and what a lot of people are saying is that they are liking to get in there and bash with this guy. So... It's really your choice. I mean, whatever you want to do, like I said, I've just chosen to go with Halberd because uh, I like Halberd more. Um, there have been people that were making an argument for the two-handed hammer and the one-handed mace. It's up to you. Um, I like the sweeping power and the versatility of the Halberd. Um, you can get away with the two-handed hammer or the one-handed mace. It's up to you. Um, I would tell you to test them and see what's your play style and see what you like. Now, I went with a gun uh, for infantry and crit. Uh, for the necklace, um, this is, it was suppo it's supposed to be 20 health, and I couldn't get any anything above 11. I'm, I wasted about 18 rolls on this, and that's just where I went. And I went with Hand of Shalia because, again, I, I don't see the problem with paying, playing a little bit of a backup, especially since this is the quote-unquote tank spec. Um... Obviously, those numbers should be better. Uh, I just didn't really try to re-roll 
I, I just got to the point to where I just wanted those numbers. So those numbers could definitely be increased. And you want decanter. And I'm switching that up. So, yeah, there is that. Now, um, as far as talents, attack speed, uh, build momentum, battle drill, soldier spirit, obviously, and life of battle. Um, there really, I couldn't really find a lot of like change in these, like the specs that I looked at, that's what people were playing. Now, if you're going to play it a little bit more of a tank, obviously you could go for the increased life if you, if you so chose to, um, my guys at 166 by taking that talent, it goes to 208. So if that's what you want to do, by all means, go ahead. That's just what I found online to do. Um, you could go with that. That was actually the backup, I believe. Yeah, that was actually the backup over Life of Battle. But, like I said, everything that, that I found, I tried to build as close to the to what it looked like the good players and what a lot of the, the people were agreeing on. So, um, I just wanted to get this one out there. I actually suppose... Actually, let me get to this. Um... I go ahead and see if I can get into a game. Mm, let's see if we can change that up. Now it is Friday, so there may be more people on. Um, it's not obviously going to make me, and there we go. Personally, Huntsman is my favorite. I like him the most. Uh, hold those. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, this will be a fun one. Now, I'm going to warn you, I am not the best with this particular sword. I've had a little bit of practice with it, but not a lot. So I know that, that sounds kind of cheeky and cheesy, but I'm going to do my best with it. Um, so if I suck, I suck. If I don't, I don't. I don't know what to say other than that, so we'll see how it goes. Well, we've still a sorcerer to have a friendly, stabby chat with. Bring your gift of the stab, hey, mate. A and your gift of the stab. More black rats. Don't get cocky, we ain't done. Not these blackbird bastards are getting. Oh, wow. Guildsman's lift, top and bar. It's the top of that 
Oh good, some ammo. Oh, we're going. Alright, let's go. Oh wow, I was getting rotted and didn't even realize it. Well, like I said. Give me that. Oh! Really? Oh god, no god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Now it definitely seems like winding up for them big shots is the way to play this guy. So if anybody watches the video, sees it, sees him doing something wrong, feel free to tell me. But that definitely seems the idea to be to the spec. Is going up for the big wind ups, clubbing them down, and sweeping away the little guys. So You like that, huh? Oh god. Well, it took a couple of shots, but I got him. Oh! 
Yeah, I'm taking a couple of hits. Yep, and that's the end of that. So it's, it's definitely a, a rough, it's kind of a rough go of it. Okay, so that went horribly. And it wasn't like a giant damage output either. Um, not sure if I was doing something wrong. Took a pile of damage. So you might have different results at different times over different things. But it's definitely a, a spec to maybe try out. I'm going to give it another whirl. See how it goes. Again, I haven't used this guy a whole lot. I haven't... I haven't uh, I don't know, I just haven't been a fan of the Executioner Sword Beyond Look, so, I mean, it's part of my inexperience, so, I mean, I'll keep practicing, keep giving it a go, and see what happens. Our old acquaintance, Verbal Spew Hailsker, just started to summon a plague mist large enough to cloak the whole town. Good for the Northlanders, bad for the rest okay. of Okay. There's a guildsman's lift that'll get you close to where he's playing, silly buggers. Change the weather for show by ending that thieving lard by any means necessary. One thing I do like is, is watching that sword just sweep through mobs like a hot knife through butter. I don't like the mobs being up on me where I get hit, but I do like watching them just chop them down. Well, we've still a sorcerer to have a friendly stabbing jacket. Bring me a gift of the gap, mates. And a gift of the stab. And caved his head in. Oh god. Ooh, one for him. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh my god, I am so dead. Oh god. And that didn't help things. Wow. Got him. Nope, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, he just ported. Oh god.
Give him a little shot to the old knees as I uh, drop down. Yep, this is all colors of bad. This is totally bad. Yeah, I hit her. But this is where I'm going to shine. Well, there is that part. Definitely probably should have snuck over and gotten the healing draft. Oh, wow, I'm way out there. Oof. So again, I apologize for my bad play. Haven't really used this guy a whole lot with that sword, so I do apologize. Oh boy, and there's the horde. Which actually, that's a really good combo. That can flag staff with the dwarven gun. That's a really good combo. And I mean, it also, it kind of in a way, it also has to do with your attitude a little bit, I think. I mean, if you're trying, if you're doing your thing, if you're, you know, not playing goofy, don't let other what other people say really affect you. And it's, it's just kind of sticking with it. Don't get discouraged, and I know that that's hard. God knows that, but I, it's you just got to stick with it. Just keep going. Keep plugging away. Not everybody is going to do exactly what I did or what some of the other people that actually found out these results did, but as long as you're trying to be a better player and not be, you know, the millstone around everybody's neck, then so be it. But you just, you do have to put some work in. You do have to try to better yourself, better your tune, better your play style, work on your gear. 
So as long as you can honestly say that, then it's going to be a fun game. It's, you know, you're going to be doing your best. But sometimes there's always just going to be that one or two people that just... They just come in and don't really care. All right, let's get let's get to it. Yep. Okay. Oh. And it's such a slow weapon too. Oh. Thank you. He fell funny. Huh. Let me grab the two. I've got a natural bond on. All right, let's go. Back up to the bridge. Get the book. Book right. Come on, boy. 
All right, well, they want to. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna compete. Do what you want to do. I took a pretty good hit there. Not my best play. Oh, he didn't like that. Not at all, sir. Oh. Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. I don't enjoy being puked on. Okay, so I can honestly say I was wrong. I'm not taking the sword. I'm done with the sword. I'm just not a huge fan of it. Maybe I'm using it wrong. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. But I'm going to give something else. I'm going to try another weapon. I'm going to tune it up and see how it goes. So I'm going to wrap this up here. Uh, this is Heldos for Zombie Land Gaming. Uh, if you see something you like, please like and subscribe. I am uh, going to be doing uh, maybe some more videos with this guy in particular after I get uh, a weapon change and see how it goes. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again later.